Good evening. This is Pam. Uh, Paint with Pam, otherwise known as, aka Paint with Pam. I want to share a little secret with you tonight. Um, if you like to sketch, but um, don't like pencil mark on your paintings, I give you a little tip. What I've been doing is I have just water on this brush. And I didn't do it from the beginning of this painting. I'll probably do another video showing from the beginning, uh, something from the beginning. But I just put a drip of water on the brush and then on the paper in the direction that I wanted to go. Uh, for instance, up here. Let's just do some more up here. And then what I did, we could add some more here too. Instead of having a pencil drawing to follow, because often people don't want pencil marks on their paintings. Some don't care, but some artists do care. Then what I'm doing is dipping into my paint, a little bit into my paint, and then going back over to where I added the water. And then just letting the water do what it would like to do. Now this actually was kind of a little bit dry. So I'm going to add some more water. Just add the water and let it run. It gives you the um, that free flow that we watercolorists absolutely love. That's what we're all about is just that free flow with the water. That's the fun about watercolor to me is that it just often will just paint the paintings itself. So I'm just guiding it with where I want the water to go, but actually I'm just gonna let the paint kind of make the decisions there. And let it just run down. Because um, that's, to me, that's the beauty of watercolor. Now, often I will just play with, I'll tell my daughter, she'll come in and say, what are you doing? I said, I'm just playing. And what I mean by playing is just seeing what my paint is and water are gonna do together. Um, and letting them, letting the paint and the water just kind of take over. I'm gonna add some down here just with this wet brush. It doesn't really have pigment on it, it's just water. I'm just gonna let it see if I can get some shadows in here. And um, just let it, go, let it go. This obviously is in the shape of a church. I was thinking about my church when I was growing up. But I'm not looking at a picture or a photo reference. I'm just, um, like I say, just did it with a wet brush and just a touch of paint and just let it run. So um, I'm actually enjoying this and I like what I'm getting. Uh, I know there's a glare on it there, but you can see where the water was. Up here, it's already dried. So that's the effect that it gave me. And um, this is still wet. And this could probably use some more shape or whatever. But um, like I say, it's just the wet brush coming in on the watercolor paper. This is a sketchbook from Etcher. Uh, that I really enjoy. I really enjoy Etcher sketchbooks. Um, they have good quality sketchbooks and you can uh, get them the size you want and the quality paper that you want. I have different sizes. All right, now I just said I wasn't gonna use pigment, but here I am, I'm using some pigment here in this water just to kind of give an impression that we're going down. This is a downward slope. 
front of the church. I had already put some water there, so it was already moist. So we'll just come down like that. I can take my paint, paint, damp brush and do what is called lifting and lift some from here to give the impression of perhaps the stairs coming down. But I'm doing it all with just the water, no pencil marks. Let's just add some, oh, I got a little gnat flying around that drove me crazy. This is just with the water and let the paint do as it will. Come down some like this on the sides. So um, that's just a little thought. I just wanted to share with you just a way that I'm, one of the ways that I play with my paints. And so this is one of them. It's just instead of coming in with sketching, I sketch with my brush and then let the water and paint do the rest. Of course, I have to have an idea what I want to sketch. I don't always, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just put the water down and let it go for it. And um, just let the paint do whatever. But anyway, that's my little video for this evening. Thank you for watching. I'm new with these, so um, I'll get better. That's just a little peek that I'm doing tonight. Thanks.